How fast can I explain the basics of chemical engineering? We're about to find out. So chemical engineering uses a lot of physics and chemistry. An example would be a scenario like this, where we're trying to calculate the unknown substance which is in the right diagram. Density is equal to mass over volume. I can use this equation on the bucket of water over here, because notice here that I have the density of water, and I also can determine the mass by taking this 15 kilograms and subtracting off this 3 kilograms. That'll give me 12 kilograms, which I can plug in for my mass, giving me this equation right here. I'll multiply the volume on both sides, giving me this equation. I divide both sides by 1,000, and then 12 divided by 1,000 will give me this volume. Now I have the volume of the entire bucket, which I can use for calculating the density of this other substance. I can take the volume and plug it in right here, and then the mass, I can take this 12 and subtract off this 3, which will give me 9. And then simplifying this fraction, I get 750 kilograms per cubic meter. Notice that this density matches motor oil, so that means that the unknown substance is motor oil. And that's the answer to this problem. Now here's also a quick look at the phase diagram for water. The pressure and the density are directly proportional. Water has a higher density than ice, which is why ice floats on top of water instead of sinking to the bottom.